doing fine welcome back to my channel and to everyone that has been supporting me always thank you so much god bless you because i know that's something that always pushes you to click on my video whenever you see the notification <laughs> it is called love and I want you to know that I love you too, so much. <laughs> but if it is your first time here in my channel, you are welcome. Please, before you leave, remember to subscribe. And when you subscribe, click the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever I upload a new video. So guys, as you all know, I always do videos about positivity in this channel and some of you now are asking yourself, what is going on? Jealousy in this channel? Yes guys, we cannot fold our eyes and pretend that jealousy people, evil people don't exist. They exist. Yes, we can ignore them, but we need to know how to deal with them because I've been seeing a lot of relationships failing just because people don't know how to deal with evil people, how to deal with jealousy people when it comes to their relationships. So that is why I am here to help a sister out so that you can protect your relationship sis. And without wasting much of your time, let us start our video right away. So guys, number one, you find that you are a lady who has got a lot of challenges when it comes to your relationships. They don't work. You stay with a man one or two months, then the relationship ends. Men just disappear without telling you the reason why they ended the relationship. Your relationship history is just a mess and you don't know the reason why all this is happening. What I am advising you sis is that this time try to do things the different way how <laughs> maybe you found a man he's a new buyer we take an example he is a white man and he is so good when you compare him with the last buyers <laughs> he is the best he treats you good he shows you true love and you are so happy you are over the moon you want to share the news to everyone so that the whole world can know you are in a relationship you have found the one please sis don't do it just keep this relationship for yourself protect this relationship by keeping it for yourself i know you cannot hide love yes i know guys but please hide this relationship keep it for yourself i'm going to tell you the reasons why you should keep this relationship to yourself reason number one you should keep this relationship to yourself is we don't know where this relationship will go it is too early for you to introduce this man to your family to your friends it is too early and i want to talk about african society when you introduce a man and then the relationship doesn't work after two or three months you introduce another man in the end guys people are counting people count <laughs> In the end, they're going to be saying that, ah, that lady, if we take all her exes, <laughs> a minibus can be full because they always count. And when I talk of maybe introducing this man to your mother or to your father, when this relationship doesn't work, it's a disappointment to them. So keep it for yourself until you are sure that this man, yes, he is the one. He's going to marry me. He is my husband-to-be. Like things are really, really serious. You see, this man is very, extremely serious. You ladies know when a man is really serious and really wants to marry you. Then at that point, you can introduce this man to your family, to your friends. But when it's too early, please do not introduce this man to anyone just keep it to yourself so that you can protect your relationship and protect your image because if this relationship doesn't work your image is destroyed sis very destroyed especially in african culture <laughs> if you're an african lady watching this you can understand me <laughs> you can understand me guys <laughs> when a lady starts having a lot of relationships Everyone starts talking bad about that 
lady and it's frustrating guys it's not these relationships all the time it's our fault that they fail but people always think that if a relationship fails then it's all up to the lady i don't know why guys they always think that way they will call you names but for men even if he has got 20 girlfriends in the past they're not going to call that man names but for a lady they will call you a lot of names so to avoid that just keep this relationship to yourself reason number two is that not everyone that you share the good news with and smiles says that i am happy for you means it we don't know guys who is good who is bad so to protect your relationship from bad energy negativity it is better to keep your relationship when it's very new <laughs> to yourself guys keep it to yourself please <laughs> Number two, on how to protect your relationship from jealousy people, evil people. We imagine you have already made a mistake and shared the news that you found the man of your life to your friends or maybe your relatives. And then among these friends or relatives, there are those people who always want to know your next step. <laughs> They always ask you, what is the next step? They are always interested to know about your relationship, what is going on, what this man has in life. They want to know so much about your relationship and what next? What is the next step? Be very careful about these people. For me, if someone is always interested to know what is my next step, what is going on in my life, very interested all the time asking me questions about my relationship i'm going to be asking myself questions why why is this person very interested in me <laughs> why <laughs> mind your own business <laughs> i think it is up to me to tell you the story if i really want to share my relationship story with you but if i'm not sharing my relationship story with you why should you be very interested to know what is my next step so if you're surrounded by such kind of people please it is better not to tell them what is your next step and always avoid that conversation people should always learn to respect each other and mind their own business because someone asking you what is your next step that sounds very fishy so in order to protect your relationship from evil people we don't know what is the intention of this person who always wants to know what is your next step we don't know his intention or her intention so it is better to protect our relationship by keeping quiet by not sharing our next step don't share that information with that person who always wants to know what is your next step and you will see the results guys you will see <laughs> if that person is a good friend then she will stay or he will stay with you but if that person has got very bad intention you will know if you don't give them what they want eventually they are going to disappear in your life point number three on how to deal or how to protect your relationship from jealousy people or evil people so your relationship is going very well with your boyfriend and you decide to share the news but when you share the news you find that there are some people who always want to find fault in your relationship want to find faults in the man that you are dating and what is more surprising these people don't know this man but they are judging him already they are telling you this man is not good for you imagine guys they don't know anything about this man but they are judging already at least know someone before you start judging but you don't know anything <laughs> about this man and then you start judging so you find people judging the man that you are dating giving a lot of advice giving <laughs> giving a lot of their opinion they want to have a say in your relationship whereby they know nothing about your relationship but they're looking for little faults so that they can tell that this man is 
but my dear sister you will never find that perfect man you will never no one is perfect only god but listening to friends who are telling you this man is not perfect for you <laughs> they are lying to you and another thing you should be telling yourself when these people are telling you this man is bad looking at his imperfection and making a big deal out of it think 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 and remember that this is about you this is about your life and there is no one that knows this man more than you guys I've been seeing a lot of things going on that sometimes make me feel very angry <laughs> they make me very angry feel like going crazy like recently there is a lady that is going through a lot she has been in a relationship for four years with this man and and she tried to ask for visa two times to go meet this man in spain but she was not able to get the visa and this man because is very in love with this lady has decided to go to africa so that he can marry this girl and they go together in spain but guys what is happening there <laughs> you can cry parents are supporting this lady but people who are related to her not parents and not sisters or brothers they are fighting this relationship saying that this man might be a killer or this man might be dealing with human trafficking you know telling her she cannot marry this spanish guy they have been in a relationship for four years they have made all stories went to the police station they're doing everything possible to make sure that this relationship fails do you think these people love this lady no they don't love her they do not love her because they are telling her it's better you get married here where you are going is very far this man is not good he might be a killer or he might sell you guys what i know i've been here in italy and i've seen those ladies who sell themselves on the streets african ladies but what i've heard most of them guys have come with the ship there is no man that wants to take a lady from africa and make her a prostitute passing through the embassy when a man goes through the embassy process it means that they are scanning that man like looking his address his job everything about that man the embassy knows they know this man's life already before they give you the visa so if this man has got criminal records i'm so sure that the embassy will not issue the visa if this man has got criminal records <laughs> and is he stupid going to the embassy while he knows that he has got criminal records no <laughs> he's not going to go through that process let's not talk about the ticket money the visa everything paying for the hotel all those hectic process just because he wants to take you and <laughs> and make you a prostitute in the streets <laughs> no it doesn't work that way guys it does not work that way like i said trust your intuition you know this man more than everyone so do not listen to anyone that is advising you this man is a killer that is finding faults in this man so that you can leave him do not listen to them because they want you to cry they want to always console you but they don't want you to move forward so to protect your relationship do not listen to what they are saying if they don't know this man and you are so sure that this man is the one your heart tells you he is the one do not listen to these people they are only evil they are jealousy of you for no reason because <laughs> people who are jealousy they don't have reasons to be jealousy but they are always jealousy so protect your relationship sis or sometimes some friends or some relatives or people close to you when they know that you are dating a white man then they think of money they start telling you ask money just take money from him <laughs> you know <laughs> thinking that you will get money out of this man you might not get money but 
this man might end the relationship with you so if someone tells you ask money from your man he's rich he's a he's a white man don't do it sis do not do it just focus on your relationship it's about you it's about your life point number four on how to deal or protect your relationship from jealousy people or evil people we take an example you are in a relationship and then this man is good he treats you good but some some of your family members and some few friends who are jealousy of you they are against this relationship but guys you are sure that this man is good he treats you good and you really want to be with him and then your man gets to know it this can be a very big problem to him because he'll start having some doubts thinking like maybe you will listen to them and leave him which might push him to leave you so before this man decides to give up on this relationship please make sure you let this man know that you are together you are on his side you are going to fight these people that they are fighting against your relationship together so he shouldn't worry tell him that you love him you want to spend the rest of your life with him assure this man <laughs> before he changes his mind because when the fights are too much he might reach at a point whereby he thinks mm, this lady might change her mind and start listening to friends or start listening to these few relatives that are against the relationship and then leave me so before she leaves me i'm going to leave her so don't keep quiet or fight alone don't tell this man let him know that you are on his side and you are ready to fight this relationship no matter what if you do that guys this man is going to be by your side and you're going to fight these people that are fighting your relationship if it is something that you can try to change their mind make them understand those who are not jealousy but those who are not jealousy but just following others who are jealousy they might change their mind and be on your side then the jealousy ones you just leave them alone focus on your love and then grow strong get married have kids continue with your life but you need to let this man know that you are on his side in order to protect your relationship it is so important do not ignore it please my dear sister it's number five on how to deal or how to protect your relationship from evil people jealousy people <laughs> is to be ready to take the risks <laughs> oh my god life is full of risks don't be scared to take risks when it comes to your relationship living alone guys is a risk because we don't know when we are leaving this world <laughs> so we are living but it's a risk so don't be scared to take risks i'm saying this because being in a relationship especially if you're dating a white man you are in africa or you are in another part of the world which is not europe or which is not where this man lives you need to take risks we imagine you, you met this man online or someone connected you to this man or you met this man in Africa for some time or you met him in Indonesia, <laughs> Asia, <laughs> wherever you are, you met this man there but you, you have never been to his country, you don't know where he lives, you have never been together in his country the two of you so be ready to take that risk because that moment that is when those people who are telling you this man might be a killer <laughs> those thoughts will be coming into your mind because it's a risk thing to do this man is a stranger yes you might have met him for a week or two weeks in your country and then he leaves but you have never been to his country the two of you so you leaving your country go meet him in his country it's a risk he took a risk too because coming to your country if he came he took a risk so you should be ready to take a risk 
go meet this man don't worry of what these people are going to be telling you because you know this man more than anyone and your heart tells you he is the one your intuition tells you he is the one everything that he does has been showing you that he is a good man he cannot do something bad to you you trust him just take this risk don't listen to anyone take cotton and <laughs> put it in your ears and take this risk because if you become scared of taking risks then you'll never move forward you'll never marry this white man <laughs> i tell you all ladies that have passed through this process like leaving your country and joining this man you know that first day <laughs> it is always scary guys <laughs> i remember guys my first day here in italy yes my friend connected me to my husband but she was not there at the airport to pick me she was not there that day when i went with him to his house the first day <laughs> <laughs> the two of us together the first day in a different country which is not my country it's a scary moment but you will have to take that risk if you don't take that risk then you are not protecting your love you will lose this love so you should be ready to protect this relationship you should be ready to take the risks don't listen to anyone life itself is a risk so take this risk <laughs> take that risk grab it take it <laughs> and i'm so sure that your intuition is always right this man is good for you he's not gonna sell you he's not into <laughs> human trafficking not at all people just make stories so that they can scare you so that they can stop you from moving forward they are happy when they see you suffer they are happy when they see people calling you names that you are a prostitute they are happy when they see you not settling with any man so take that risk trust in yourself but when taking that risk always depend on god always pray to god he's gonna be there for you everything is going to be fine with god so guys we've come to an end of this video i really hope you enjoyed and learned something if you did please give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something please share 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 it's free <laughs> comment below what you think about this video i would like to know watch my other videos too they are so good subscribe please if you haven't i love you so much and you know you are always here in my heart let us meet in my next video ciao ciao Mwah.